What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Antenna Man. I'm here to tell you about another antenna gimmick. Now last night I was watching TV and I saw this TV Freeway Gold antenna advertised and it promised to bring you 95 of the top 100 TV shows. It's kind of made to look like an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku, but in reality all it is is just a fraction of the antenna that's not gonna bring you many channels at all. Here's a clip of the commercial that I saw. TV Freeway Gold lets you watch up to 95 of the top 100 100 rated shows on TV, from comedies to dramas to movies, local news and live sports. All you do is plug it in and all major broadcast TV is free. So as you can see, from a person that may not know much about antennas or cord cutting, this little device almost looks like some kind of fire stick or a Chromecast. It looks like you just plug it in, you automatically get all of these free shows on demand. But as I mentioned, all it is is a tiny little antenna, similar to this thing that I pulled off my one of my portable TV sets. Now, although it is technically a TV antenna, there are three issues with it. First of all, it is very small. So it is not gonna pick up stations more than like 15 or 20 miles from the broad broadcast tower. Second, you are limited to where your TV is at. So you can't really move the antenna around because it plugs directly into your TV set. The only feasible thing would be to move the whole TV and no one's going to do that. And the third thing is being pressed up directly against your TV set is going to bring some electrical interference. So even if you do have a decent signal, it's not going to come in as well due to the interference from the TV set being plugged in. So currently, due to the trend of cord cutting, antenna manufacturers, and in this case, as seen on TV manufacturers, are kind of capitalizing on the lack of knowledge people have about over-the-air TV and cord cutting. Just kind of making these little junky antennas and saying they're going to bring you all of these shows and bring you all of these channels when in reality, they really, really aren't that good. Unfortunately, there aren't really any consumer advocacy groups stopping these companies from making outrageous claims, saying that plugging a small thing in like this is gonna bring you 95 of the top 100 rated shows, which I don't really believe. If you think of the top rated shows today, a lot of them are on HBO and cable networks, so an antenna isn't really gonna bring you in those shows. Most of these antennas are designed for style and not for performance. Like imagine buying a car that only goes 20 miles per hour compared to 90 or 100 miles per hour. The same goes for antennas. A small antenna like this is only gonna bring you signals maybe 10 or 15 miles from the broadcast towers, and that's not including all the signal loss you're getting from indoors. Well, you need a larger antenna or at least something that isn't a really small stick to bring in the stations from your market. So if you see an advertisement for this antenna, stay away from it. It really isn't anything more than just kind of a small little whip like this, and you can't really move it around. You're better off buying one of those really small flat antennas, which I've been calling junk for a while, but it's gonna work better than this thing. And if you wanna get better reception from there, you can get the Clearstream 2 Max. It's a very good directional indoor antenna, and I've had success bringing in channels from 50 miles using the indoor setup. So hopefully this video gives you some insight on the hype a lot of companies are doing with antennas. The rule of thumb I usually have is if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Something this small is not going to bring you in stations compared to a larger, more robust model. Again, if you want a decent indoor antenna that gives you the best chance to bring in all the stations in your market, definitely check out the Clearstream 2 Max. Do not buy into any other antenna that says 80 miles, 150 miles. That's just simply a load of crap. Subscribe to my channel for more cord cutting updates and have an awesome day.